diode. So Schottky diode is one of the high frequency diode which is used in switching operations in microwave circuits. So in the figure we are ha having Schottky diode symbol which is having anode terminal and cathode terminal. The Scott key diode, also known as Scott key barrier diode or hot carrier diode, is a semiconductor diode formed by the junction of a semiconductor with a metal. It has a two forward voltage drop and a very fast switching action. That's why it is widely used in microwave circuits. So the metal semiconductor junction has been formed like this in unipolar diodes, unipolar configuration. See here one entech material with a loaded with a metal lead is present over here. So various Kotke barrier diodes are present. Small signal RF devices are uh, given in the left and medium high power medium and high power Kotke rectifier diodes are in the middle and right. These are the typical diodes Kotke barrier diodes used in the market. And uh, the difference, the difference between the existing diode uh, to the of the Scott key diode is given over here. The rectifier diode has been, is just a PM diode which is used in our rectifier circuits. And Zener diode will be having a black uh, diode symbol with somewhat elongated over there. And Scott key diode symbol is uh, just a, a similar to the of these two diodes, but it is having metallic lead so which gives a signal transmission over there so it is the symbol is given like this which is given in the center so this is the scott key diode construction through which the n-type and metal layer has been given over here this n-type layer is the semiconductor layer with the metal at the one end and over the another end which is considered as a cathode is having ohmic contact so one end is having the metal end is named as anode so these Scott key diodes are unilateral junction diodes where a metal semiconductor junction is formed at one end and another metal semiconductor contact is formed at the other end. It is an ideal ohmic bidirectional contact with no potential existing between the metal and the semiconductor and so it is non-rectifying. So in other diodes if you see there is a two semiconductors may present majority and minority so movement of electrons will be there so each and every electron is having some a little amount of current flowing within it but here it is not there no potential built-in potential across the open circuited scott key barrier diode and the scott key diode is a function of temperature dropping it decreases and increases with the temperature dropping concentration in n-type semiconductor for manufacturing purposes, the metals of the Scott key barrier diode like molybdenum, platinum, chromium, tungsten, aluminium, gold, etc. are used. And the semiconductor used are of N type only. So, this is the construction about Scott key diodes. The VA characteristics is just uh, similar to that of the Zener diode, but it's having somewhat uh, different. That is a C. In PN diode, we will be having VA characteristics like this. But in Scott key diode, somewhat uh, elevation will be there in the earlier stage itself. So the forward voltage drop of Scott key barrier diode is very low compared to normal PN junction diode. The forward voltage drop ranges from 0.3 volt to 0.5 volt. The forward voltage drop of Scott key barrier is made up of silicon here. The voltage drop increases at the same time, increasing the doping concentration of n-type semiconductor. The VA characteristics of a Scott key barrier diode are very steeper compared to the VA characteristics of PN junction diode due to its high concentration of current carriers. As it is having only one semiconducting layer which is of N type, it is having high concentration of current carriers. And uh, see the Scott key barrier diode will be manufactured in this manner where uh, the down layer is having back contact metal and then it is topped with the N plus substrate and then uh, a layer a channel has been there which is having god rings and over that uh, silicon oxide passivation will be there and uh, over the top layer scott key barrier metal layer has been deposited as the front metal so by definitions a scott key barrier diode is also known as scott key or hot carrier diode it is a metal semiconductor layer diode 
A junction is formed by bringing metal contact with a moderately daubed n type semiconductor material. The Scott key barrier diode is a unidirectional device conducting current flows only in one direction, and so it is called a unidirectional. So, conventional current flow is from the metal to the semiconductor. So, the applications are it is used for voltage clamping applications, prevention of transistor saturation due to high current density. It is also used as a low forward voltage drop for uh, less heat and making them an efficient choice of application. Scott key diodes are used in standalone photovoltaic systems in order to prevent batteries from discharging purposes for solar panels at night. As it is having unidirectional characteristics, it has been used in this application. That is, uh, prevent batteries from discharging purpose for the solar panels at night as well as in grid connected systems. And Scott key diodes are also used in rectifiers in power supplies because of its unidirectional characteristics. And advantages, it's having low turn on voltage between 0.2 to 0.3 voltage volts. For a silicon diode, it is against 0.6 to 0.7 volts for standard silicon diode. It's having fast recovery time. It's having low junction capacitance. So, these are the uh, these three are the main applications. And the features of Scott key diode are higher efficiency, low forward voltage drop, low capacitance, low profile, surface mount package. That means it is ultra small, and integrated guard ring for stress protection. So these are the features of Scott key diode. So, so Scott key diodes are high frequency diodes which is used for switching purpose as well as in rectifier purpose and uh, it is an unidirectional one. So this is what a Scott key diode characteristics is. Thank you.